The golden boot of football offers a major deal for Israeli soccer sensation Daniel Peretz. Germany's Bayern Munich football club closing a five-year deal to buy the star goalkeeper. Bayern has reportedly agreed to pay Maccabi Tel Aviv $5.43 million for Peretz, making this one of the largest deals in Israel's soccer league history. Peretz will reportedly move to Germany in the coming days. He has a German passport and will have his first medical test there at the end of the week. Bayern had been searching for a goalkeeper to replace Manuel Neuer after he broke his leg in a skiing accident. The veteran player will reportedly return to the field in a few months' time. Peretz takes up the team's third goalkeeper spot behind the injured Neuer and veteran backup Sven Ulreich. So for more reaction, we now welcome sports journalist Uri Levy, founder of Baba Gol. He joins us from Tel Aviv, kicking his way into the global spotlight. The first time an Israeli player is heading to Germany to play for Bayern Munich. It's one of the largest deals in Israel's soccer league history. What a huge moment for Daniel Peretz. Your thoughts? Yes, most definitely, Benita. It's a historical moment uh, for the player from Maccabi Tel Aviv for Israeli football, and I will leave and, you know, expand it a little bit. It's a big moment for Jewish footballers because it's very symbolic and uh, and and exciting to think that Daniel Peretz, only 23 years old, from Israel, from a capital of Eve, uh, being scouted for months uh, by Germany's best club, uh, Bayern Munich, 11-time champions in a row now, one of the biggest football institutions in the world. We are speaking about a, a brand that is big, such as the you know Real Madrid, Barcelona, Manchester United, and and these kind of clubs. So it's a, it, I think it's a it's a flattering moment uh, for him personally, but also for Israeli football and Israeli sports and the connection between Israel and Germany and uh, and the connection also between Bayern as a club who during the Second World War supported uh, Jews and helped Jews in a different way. And now having an Israeli goalkeeper coming from Maccabi Tel Aviv, it's a massive story. Um, and also for the players, he knows that he's going uh, as, a, as a prospect. Currently, Daniel Peretz, as we've seen in the under 21 Euro, is among, I think, the the three top uh, goalkeeping prospects in Europe. Yes, is 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 a, is a, is a name that is known for many clubs, for many football people uh, throughout the continent. And Byron is uh, is going for him, uh, signing him on a five-year contract. And uh, you know, from Byron, uh, even uh, just imagine that there is a chance he even w wouldn't wouldn't be a sensation in Byron. The drop from there is for any other big club in Germany, any other big club in Italy, in Spain, maybe in England. At the moment you are stepping in this pool of massive clubs such as Bayern Munich, basically your career is set. And I think uh, as a goalkeeper, uh, Daniel is a very young age in his career, 23 is nothing. Usually goalkeepers are playing until 41, 42. Just now, Gianluigi Buffon retired from Italy, from Italy retired uh, at 45. So Daniel is just in the beginning of his career and right. starting his career in Europe in a club such as Bayern Munich. It's an exciting and historical moment indeed. Exciting indeed, but you raise an interesting point because the Israeli league is historically not one of the most attractive league for prospective buyers. Why did Bayern decide to scout from within the Israeli league right now? Yeah, actually, Benita, it's funny because uh, I was there to witness in uh, Georgia, in uh, in Kutaisi, when the Israeli under-21 team played against the Germany under-21 team. Just now, in the European under-21 championship, a uh, month and a half ago, Daniel Perez stopped two penalties in that match and attracted a lot of attention from uh, from Germany. At the moment, they discovered he has a German Germany uh, German passport. So he became also, uh, I would say, uh, some kind of a, a locative uh, target for clubs, not only Bayern, also Stuttgart was interested, and in other clubs we had it. Uh, also Fenerbahce from Turkey fought to add him as, as a part of the European players that they can uh, uh, field in the Turkish league. So he became a target, he became an interesting person. And the fact is that Daniel, he is 
one of the top three prospects for goalkeepers in Europe. He's a penalty, a penalty uh, stopper expert. He stopped right now, I think, uh, eight penalties in a row for, for what uh, has been shot uh, against him as a goalkeeper in Maccabi Tel Aviv and the Israeli under-21 national team. So Byron are really getting a, a gem. And yes, maybe for the average European football fan, he's not a familiar name, but he's definitely a hidden gem that if Bayern will treat him and, and nurture him correctly, they will earn a goalkeeper that is very talented, uh, dedicated, and also have a very, very good character. He's a leader by heart and by nature, and always beloved by, by teammates, also in the national team, also in Maccabi Tel Aviv. Nice. I personally interviewed him a couple of times. Um, exceptional personality and a great goalkeeper to come. Because some skeptics are wondering if Daniel Peretz is going to be a bench warmer in Germany, be on the sidelines, so to speak. Would this have a negative impact for him if he's not getting regular game time? No, no, not at all. First of all, he's going to work with the best goalkeeping coaches, uh, staff, uh, probably among the top five goalkeeping coaches staff in the world. Uh, second of all, yeah, it's it's not a bad thing to come as a, you know, to start maybe even as a second choice. But reminders, you mentioned in the beginning, Manuel Neuer, the first goalkeeper of Germany in Bayern Munich, is out for a few months now. Sven Ulrich is, is okay as a second option. But it's not a, you know, a, a clear start in Bayern Munich. So obviously Bayern are taking the risk and saying, okay, we have a, a talented kid here that can stop some penalties. Let's see how it works out. Let's see how he fits the system. And if he will get the chance, you know, this is football. It's it's matters of, of moments and small decisions and hope you are in the lineup for the game of the season again against Dortmund or maybe in the Champions League against Real Madrid. And after these kind of games, your career is changing, your life is changing. And as I said in the beginning, even if it wouldn't be a top success, and even if you won't play much, the drop from Bayern Munich is obviously for a better place. And, and we need to say, Israeli football is in a, a very, very interesting sure. and successful era right now. Mm -hmm. for, you know, for, for, for a spot in the world, third, third in, a, in a Europe, and now we have players in Bayern Munich, players going all over the continent. Mm -hmm. So it's a good time for Israeli football. And sure. um, and for Daniel Pertz, personally, you know, it's a, something I think uh, he never imagined at 23 he will play in such club.